Good morning, this is Wednesday, the 21st of February, and trust you got a decent cup of coffee, because this is Coffee with God. If you have your Bibles, turn to Acts 2, verse 37 and 8. Angelinge 2, vers 37 and 38. Just on the day of Pentecost, after the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit and they burst out of the upper room, Peter preaches a sermon to those who are in Jerusalem. And he basically lets them know that they've made a mistake and they've crucified the Son of God. When they heard this, they were pierced to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, each of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the Holy Spirit. Now, yesterday I spoke about the fact that God intervenes in our life, not just to forgive us of our sins, but to remove the sins from us that he may have relationship with us. Again here, the act of repentance is the act of agreeing with God by faith that we are sinners and nothing that we can do can save ourselves. It is the work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary who became sin on our behalf to remove our sins from us and to forgive us. But listen again. We need to repent. We need to agree with God. God doesn't just reach in and automatically. He's given us a free will. So we need to repent and we need to be baptized. Now, what does that mean? Baptism doesn't save us. Repentance doesn't save us. Jesus Christ saves us. And we will receive forgiveness if we're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It's the work of Jesus Christ that saves us. But we agree with God what sin is and that we are sinners in need of a new life symbolized by the sacrament of baptism. There's no power in baptism to to wash and cleanse us physically, but spiritually it symbolizes that we're willing to die to self and to be raised to life in Christ Jesus, to lay off the old and take on the new. But we have to repent first. Een gehoorzame daad doen. En dit is om ons toe te laat om gedoop te word. En dan, hmm, it ends with us, and we will receive the Holy Spirit once we've received the forgiveness of our sins. And that's the ultimate goal. Because what is the, who's the Holy Spirit? It's the Holy Spirit of God, and He takes up residence. Hy woont saam met ons, hy is met ons. So weer eens, dit gaan oor... Die, die verhouding wat ons het, die nabijheid, die teenwoordigheid van God in ons levens en dit dagelijks in die vorm van die Heilige Geest. En dit, die Geest gee ons die kracht en die genade om die oorwinningslewe te leef. And that's my, my prayer for each of us today, that we won't, we won't be... We won't be the defeated ones, but we'll be the victorious ones. That we will take life on and not allow life to roll us. And we do that with the power of the Holy Spirit in us. And that's the ultimate aim of God in our lives. So come on, get excited with me on this Wednesday about the fact that we can repent, be baptized, receive the forgiveness of our sins, and then be filled, filled with the Holy Spirit. It doesn't end with forgiveness. It ends with being empowered through relationship through a presence of God in our life to do life. That is so exciting for me. Think about it. Let's come come and chat about it. Let's have some time exciting one another with a possibility of God with us every moment of every day. <laughs>